Okay, today's video is perfect for beginners because I'll be showing you two different ways that you can go about with the sewing of these skirts. This design is actually everywhere online, is what is trending right now. And I decided to just recreate something that is easy for you guys to understand. And I hope you enjoy the video. If this is your first time stopping by, please do well to hit the subscribe button and like this video. With that being said, let's get started. So the first thing we are going to be doing is drawing a straight line at the edge of the paper. So the line that I drew on top will be used as the band for the skirts, while the line that is below will be the hemline for the skirts. So after that, from the band, I'm going to be marking my hip line measurements. So my hip line measurement is 8.5 because i'll be adding a band to this i'm going to be minusing one inches from the 8.5 so i'm marking 7.5 as the band so after that now i'm going to be dividing my waist measurement by four and i'm going to be marking it on the waistline while on the hip line i'm going to divide my hip measurement by four and i'll mark it there so right now, I'm going to be using a straight line to connect the waistline all the way down to the hip line. So now I'm going to be going in by 5 inch while I'll be going up by 3 inches. This is not a standard measurement, it's just what I prefer to use. While on the hip line, I'm going to be going up by 3 inches. Again, it is not a standard measurement. You can use whatever you want. So you just connect it to that point. So now I'm going to be extending the waistline upward to form the band. So in order to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to be marking quarter of my waist measurement on that point And I'll connect it to the waistline. And this will be the band for the skirts. So with this now, the next thing, on the length of the skirt, you're going to be marking quarter of your hip measurements. You can connect it all the way to the hip line, or you can add one inches to this uh, measurement that we marked. It all depends on what you want. Whichever one you go for, you will get a perfect result. So at the end of the day, now what we have to do is to cut it off. And we are basically done with the drafting of this pattern. So the good thing about today's video is that we are not going to be drafting the back. We are going to be using this to cut for both the back and the front. So now we are going to be focusing on the down part of this skirt. So like I said, we have two different methods. This one that I'm showing you now is the first method. So in order to do this, we are going to be dividing the hip measurement by four and we connect it all the way down. Make sure that you divide it equally on all sides. So when you're done with this, you can go ahead and label it one to four. So now I'll just go ahead and slash it open and this is what I have. So for the other side, I'm just going to be separating the band from the waistline. So this is the fabric that I used in sewing this skirt. I used two yards actually. And right here, right here, I've gone ahead to cut a piece of fabric that I placed on fold. The length of this fabric on fold is 34 inches. That means by the time you open it up, you should have about 68 inches. And this piece that I cut, I'll be using it for just the front. I'll still do the same thing for the back. So I'll just be cutting for the front first and then I'll repeat the same thing for the back. So for the front, remember I said we have two methods to sew in this skirt. So the first method is the slash and spread method. So now I'm just going to be, I've already slashed it and all I have to do now is to be spreading it on the fabric. So you take the um, pattern paper one and you place it on the part of the fabric that is on fold like so remember to leave half an inch sewing allowance at the top of the fabric 
and then from here you're going to mark seven inches away from pattern paper one and then you mark it on the down part as well just to ensure that we have a straight line and then now you're going to take pattern paper two and you place it exactly at that seven inches point another thing that you're going to do is you're going to use a straight rule to make sure that pattern paper one and two are on the straight line so just use the rule as a guide to making sure that both of them are on the straight line so i'll do the same thing for the down part as well so you can spread each pattern paper by seven or you can use five inches six inches eight inches it just depends on how full you want it to be so i'm using seven inches for mine so I'll still mark, do the same thing for the next part, which is I'll mark seven inches from pattern paper two, and I'll use a straight rule as a guide to placing pattern paper three, making sure that I'm arranging it and pinning it down correctly. So after that, I'll still do the same thing for pattern paper four. By the time I'm done pinning all pattern papers, this is what we have. So right now, the next thing to do now is I'm going to be marking the sewing allowance and tracing out the lines on this fabric. So I'll make sure that I add half an inch sewing allowance to the lines that we are tracing out. So in between two and three, I'm going to be dividing it by two so that I'll get the midpoint. And then after that, when I get the midpoint, I'm going to be connecting it all the way to that midpoint, down to the to pattern paper three, creating that V shape that we have, we had while drafting the pattern. So now I'm just going to trace it all the way to pattern paper four, adding my sewing allowance, and then down to the side seam. But at the side seam, I added one inch sewing allowance. So when you're done with that, at the down part of this skirt, I'm going to be tracing it out as well. Using a straight rule, I'll connect pattern paper one all the way to four. So when you're done, you're just going to be cutting it off. Please pay attention to how I cut it. And also remember you're adding sewing allowance to it. So when you're done cutting, you're going to place this on another piece of fabric and you're going to cut exactly what we have here. I'll be using that as the back pattern. So after that, you're going to be removing the pattern from the fabric. And by the time you open it up, this is what it should look like. So that means we have two of this. And then when you're done, you're going to run a gather stitch at half an inch away from the edge of the fabric so when you're done running the gather stitch this is what it should look like so all we have to do now is to gather it remember you're going to notch the middle part of this fabric so that you know exactly where to attach it to when you are joining it to the other side of the skirt so you're going to take one of the thread and you gather it all the way to the other side by the time you're done gathering this is what it should look like so for the second method all we have to do is to cut out the same piece of fabric that we cut out for the first method we are going to cut it for the second method the difference between the first method and the second method is that we are not going to be doing any slash and spread all you have to do is to open it up and you run a gather stitch on it and that will be all for the second method when you are done this is the result you should have an uneven hemline unlike the first method the hemline is going to be even but for the second method the hemline is is going to be uneven i don't know if that makes sense so yeah now we have also gone ahead to cut the middle part of the skirt alongside the band take pay attention to the part where i added sewing allowance i added half an inch to this the up and the down parts and then one inch to the side seam so i've also gone ahead to cut two pieces for the band because i'm i'm going to be using one piece as the lining
so now i'm just going to be joining it at the top of the fabric when you join it you turn it to the right side and you iron it very well so after doing that this is what it should look like so now i'm just going to be joining the band to the middle part of the skirt at the waistline so in order to do this i'm going to be opening up the band like so and i'm going to be joining the lining to the wrong side of the middle part of the skirt and then you sew using half an inch sewing allowance so after sewing you're going to take the band and you're going to be facing it at the right side of the middle part of the skirt so when you face it at the right side you are going to be closing in the half an inch sewing allowance that we added so you close it in like so and then you pin it down just pay attention to what i am doing now so you fold the allowance inward and you pin it down i'm going to do the same thing all the way to the other side of the waistline When you're done with this, I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine and I will top stitch it, making sure that I have a clean finish, both at the back and at the front. So when you're done top stitching, this is what it should look like. Make sure that your stitching is very clean. When you're done, so the next thing to do now is we are going to be measuring from the side seam through the middle part of the skirt all the way to the other side of this side seam so whatever we get we are going to make sure that the gathers that we made the gathers that we created is equal to the length that we got when we measured it so if it is not equal you're just going to gather it making sure that it is equal or you're losing it up if it is too small by the time you get exactly what we have on at the middle part of the skirt you're going to be joining it together like so so now you're going to be join. you're going so in order to do that i'll be joining it the uh, wrong side facing each other and then take note that the gathers is not starting exactly at the side seam. It's starting one inch away from the side seam. So you're going to pin the side seam of the middle part of the skirt to the side seam of the gathers. And then you pin the middle part of the skirt to the middle part of the gathers. Remember I said we should notch the middle part. So that part that we notched, you're going to be joining it to the middle part of the skirt. And also make sure that the gathers are evenly spread all through the lines. This is very important because the neatness of your work is shown through the gathers. So you're just going to pin it all the way to the other side. And on the other side, also make sure that the gathers stops one inch away from the side seam so that by the time you're joining it there will be no bulkiness at that point it will be easy for you to join so now you're going to take it to the sewing machine and you sew using half an inch sewing allowance like i said make sure that the gathers are even so when you're done sewing this is what it should look like so by the time you're done you're going to do the same thing for the back as well so remember i said the same way we are cutting for the front we are going to cut for the back and by the time you're done joining the back as well you're going to be joining it to the front at the side seam so just take your waist measurements from that point and then you are going to be attaching an invincible zipper at one of the side seam while you close the other side all the way down 
and then you remember to hem the skirts and that will be all for the video please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next one